Hey, let me ask you a question real quick. Why does the Crypt of the Necrodancer only have three viewers on Twitch? I mean, this game is awesome, in my opinion. Okay, so here's the story. Basically, a girl's dad goes missing, so she finds a map and then goes looking for him in a grave while she's grave digging. And uh, while she's digging up this grave, she falls down into the Crypt of the Necrodancer, where she comes across the Necrodancer. He steals her heart and then entraps her inside of his dangerous, funky crypt. So she's gotta escape and find her dad and find her heart. All right, so there's the story. But what is the game actually like? Well, this game is like a roguelike, meaning that every time you play the game, you have one life, and when you die, you start the game over. Well, sort of. There's also levels, so it's semi-roguelike. I don't know, it's pretty good in my opinion. But basically, it's level-based. You go into a level, every level has some floors, every floor has a song that plays. And you gotta explore the floor, get as much loot, kill as many dudes before the song ends. And when the song ends, you fall through a trap door to the next floor. You do this a couple times until you reach the boss floor. And when you reach the boss, you beat the boss and you beat the level. Simple enough. There's multiple levels, a bunch of playable characters with different abilities, and diamonds to buy new permanent upgrades and gear that you can find in these levels. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's easy, but there's a twist. The twist is that there's really funky music playing on every floor, and you can only move on the beat of every song. So you gotta time it right, tap your foot, and get ready to rumble. It's kind of weird to play, I will say that. You gotta play it one beat at a time, and that makes it take up your full concentration, which makes it pretty difficult to interact with Twitch chat, I must admit. But at the same time, it's so good that Twitch chat will be watching you and be pogging the entire time that you play the game. So I have to ask again, why does Crypt of the Necrodancer only have three viewers on Twitch? This game's awesome, and you should watch it. And you should watch me play it. Please, I'm desperate. Here's my Twitch.